Yeah, hi everyone. Um, I'm Julius and I'm going to talk a little bit about the theming app as this was the first part where I contributed into Nextcloud. And uh, yeah, in the past there was always this theming thing, but there were PHP classes which you had to uh, change and it was always this thing that this themes broke after an update or you had to uh, actively watch what's going on with the theming. And what's uh, with the theming app in Nextcloud is that it's basically always in there and we have this simple form where you can just fill out some basic values and even after updates those uh, theming should work. And yeah, for now this always works. And yeah, the key point is we really want to keep this simple. We often have this request for different icons for yeah every position in the UI. But as you can see, there's basically only one logo and the login image. And yeah, it's <laughs> always kind of fun playing around with this. <laughs> as you can see, this was at the Hack Week. And right in the last months, uh, that's already uh, also where I started contributing, was doing some small fixes in the UI elements, adding the logos right, like there in the sharing button or uh, Lucas did some uh, performance improvements with uh, rendering the image s smaller. And so this theming is basically in most places in Nextcloud, but there are some things missing. It's this uh, basically all the icons. And this is what I'm cur currently working on. But there's, yeah, the support for S4G images is still not that good as it should be. So, um, yeah, I created this dynamic uh, creation so we can uh, create colored icons for the folders or for MIME types, for different MIME types. And we can also generate FAF icons depending on the color or the app icon. Or even if you upload a custom instance logo, you can uh, then get the FAF icon with this logo. So this is what's coming, I guess, with Nextcloud 11 when we get this ready. Yes, and we have this capabilities API uh, where the theming values are also in. So any client developer can now uh, ask the server what is the color used. So clients can also, like the Android app is already doing this for the background image, I guess, or it's coming. So clients can also use those theming values. And yeah, I'm always thinking about how we can go further. Um, maybe a plain background image is something users want because those, uh, yeah, photo is always taking some time to load and maybe, yeah, maybe with someone, some people don't want that. Or yeah, maybe custom CSS, but that's, a little bit against the simplicity that we have now. And we also have some features for app developers, like we have uh, CSS classes uh, to yeah, apply the theming colors to your apps. Or we have this uh, JavaScript object, like as a, in, in some apps you have some special cases like the notifications app had this uh, little bell icon in the menu bar and then of course you need to check is there a, a dark background or is it a light background and therefore you can use this JavaScript object. But uh, yeah, I guess the most important thing for app developers is to just use as much uh, native UI elements as possible and don't try to mess up too much with uh, your own styles. Yeah. And uh, I'm always welcome for any hints, ideas for the theming app, and thanks. Yeah.